Uh, my name is David Casson. I am a Brooklyn-based painter, artist, basically focused on um, documentaries within paint. So I try to uh, meet interesting people that I find interesting, that I can fall in love with and spend a long time with, and uh, whose story I can tell in, uh, in my paintings. You know, it's uh, it's just this has been a, a quote unquote job that I've just had to fight for for my entire life. As a painter, it's very you have to be very self motivated, and at times in our lives we aren't as self motivated to get over uh, deficiencies in technique, deficiencies in ideas, um, self doubt can creep in. Nothing's easy, I guess, is what I'm trying to say in this job. And so, as it's my calling. I really am dedicated and I love what I do so much that I, I fight for it. My wife and I had moved to New York City and it was very expensive to live here and I had a job doing uh, visual communication. I did uh, graphic design and web design. Had a job job where I would go there every day. It wasn't what I was made for. But after 9/11, uh, the company uh, lost its funding and they downsized from 60 people down to only six. And so they laid us all off. And I used the money that I got from the government to retrain myself in unemployment insurance to go back to school and study full time. I mean, it's funny with this job. I feel like I have five or six different careers going. Yeah, I represent people that are going to disappear and their stories are going to disappear. And um, within this project, I've had to learn fundraising. I'm also filming the survivors, so I'm producing a film yeah. on the project and interviews. And so in that case, I'm kind of like a filmmaker, documentarian, as well as a painter, as well as a fundraiser. I'm in a world where I have like a lot of different uh, careers going at the same time. You know what it is, like with the paintings I'm doing right now, when I get, when I hear from the people that I painted and they've gone and seen the paintings, that is super rewarding. I'm doing art, which is a very self-serving job. Self-serving to me right now because I can help people through the art, you know? So, so I get happy because I'm helping someone else through it. For me, I've always tried to understand how I could uh, make a painting that will uh, be more than just about me. Having a greater purpose to the work is important for me. But then I have to ask myself if there's meaning in the painting or not. And then it kind of, it, is it shallow and it's just a surface thing that I like, or if it's, if it's got some type of depth. I don't even want to make a painting anymore. I don't care about brushstroke uh, denoting anything. I want to make the emotion of the sitter uh, come through within the painting. It's not, I don't want it to be about me. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm in the painting. I choose the subject, I choose the, the angle that you look at it. I control the viewer in a lot of respects, but it's really about, about the person, yeah. Yeah, I think it's more about the paintings as opposed to like exhibitions or shows or anything like that. So I'm gonna do a painting of 11 survivors. It's probably gonna take me three years to do the painting. My goal in, in life is to have as, as many paintings on, on public view as possible. But to have these on public view after I finish them, after I finish the paintings, would be would be amazing, you know? So that, uh, that these people's stories can get out there in the public. I think right now I just want to make the work and the work so important that it's kind of dominating anything anything else. I think that if, um, if the work is good and the work is strong and it's powerful and emotive, um, 
anything else will happen. Oh, uh, usually at night, late, late at night. Late at night? Or, or super early in the morning. Because, uh, you know, I don't have to send emails or talk to anybody. I can just kind of just put a put music on and just paint. Any, anytime it's uninterrupted. Usually, like, super early in the morning, if I can get up at, like, 5, 5 in the morning is great for a few hours. Um, or, like, 10 o'clock to 5 in the morning. 